Hello, dear ones. Father Peter John here, coming to you from the Bell Tower at All Saints Orthodox Church on South Fairfax Road in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. I wanted to talk briefly today about the prophet Elisha and another miracle that happened and its significance for us. We're talking about the miracle of the floating axe head. Now anybody who's ever used an axe knows that the axe head is of course the heaviest part. It's very, very heavy. Uh, and this is probably very small compared to the type of axes that they were using in Elisha's time. Um, so it came to pass one day that the, um, those who were called the sons of the prophets, they who lived around Elisha, uh, they started telling Elisha that they needed somewhere larger to live. They said, basically, this place here where we're living with you, we're just all too cramped up. So if we could go to the Jordan River and begin chopping down some trees and then build a new facility, a new home, um, that would be wonderful. And so he blessed them to go and do this. And then one of them were told, he humbled himself and said, uh, and, and asked Elisha to go with them. And so Elisha said, I'll go. And so they all went together down to the Jordan River and uh, they went to the trees and they began cutting down the trees. And one of these young men, as he was cutting, his ax head flew off and it flew into the Jordan River and of course sunk quickly to the bottom of the river. And uh, he said to the prophet Elisha, he said, my father, it was borrowed. He was panicking. Uh, and so the prophet Elisha said to him, where exactly did it fall? And so the man shows him, the young man shows him where the uh, axe head went in. And so the prophet Elisha takes a piece of wood and he throws it into the water. And as he throws it into the water, then the axe head comes floating to the surface. And he says to the, the young man, he says, now go and retrieve it yourself. And so the, the man goes and he takes the axe head and he gets it. Now. A couple of things here. First of all, um, it's important to note that these men, even though they were prophets and sons of prophets, they were not wealthy. People were not showering them with wealth and gifts. Certainly, um, Elisha, there have been occasions where people have tried to shower him with incredible uh, wealth and he has refused. Uh, Naaman, for example, tried to give him an incredible amount of money. Um, and goods, and, and he refused it. But uh, the prophets did not have lots of wealth. They're all kind of in cramped quarters, and here they are out there themselves with their own hands chopping down the trees to build themselves a, a new place to live. Um, and the other thing is, you know, this young man who lost his axe head, he, his, his axe head, he says, it was borrowed, and he was, he, was, uh, he was upset because he had borrowed this, and obviously he couldn't afford his own axe head. Um, and so that meant a great deal to him to get that axe head back. Now, theologically speaking, what does this mean? St. John Chrysostom says something very neat. Um, he says that not only is this just a historical story, the telling of a miracle that actually happened, but as often happens in the scriptures, there is a spiritual significance to it. And that is that the waters, the, the, the Jordan River, uh, represents the waters of baptism. The axe head represents the weight of our sin, our heaviness under the yoke of sin. And that when Elisha takes the wood and he throws it into the water, that that wood represents the wood of the cross. And through Christ's uh, passion, through his death on the cross, then um, our sins, we have been raised up from the weight of our sins. They have been washed in the waters of baptism and we've been set free. And so, uh, glory to God for that explanation from St. John Chrysostom. I encourage each and every one of you to continue to read in the prophets. Sometimes there are many things that are difficult, very, very difficult. Um, sometimes there's a whole lot of recountings of wars and things that are happening that um, can be very violent. Uh, and certainly there are um, recountings of names and all of these things that can be a little tedious sometimes. But the reason I'm doing these um, little videos for you is I want to show you all of these beautiful and encouraging nuggets that are within the text of the stories and the lives of the prophets, etc. So God bless you and guide you and protect you and grant you all good things. For he is the Lord and master of our life, always, now, and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen.